Hi guys, this is uh, Total Makeup Junkie's dad and this is Total Makeup Junkie's brother and today we're going to be taking you through this tutorial on a whole entire face preparation. So first, we're going to get our headband on here, make it look nice and we're going to apply some of the uh, lip Lip, uh, lip gloss is, I mean, it's a uh, non-sticky. Non-stick so, lip gloss. Yes. It's easy, easy removal. And now this is not easy, this is 24 hours. This is stuck on your face 100% of the time. What is this? This is a, something, some cream that goes on the eyes, on eyelid, upper eyelid. And uh, again, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Let's apply some of this uh, eye shadow. This is the eye shadow. This is like a little liquid eye shadow and like a stick or something. With the shimmering, shimmering. Yeah, yeah, shimmy. Again. Very shiny. So use your pink, rose gold. Pinky for the right right eye and index finger for the left. Thanks. And Thanks. Um, yes. Ice cream here. We got the ice cream palette. This is one of my favorites of all time. Yes. I mean, I love the colors. Yeah. I mean, these are, these are amazing. Vibrant colors, I would say. Perfect colors. Yes. But, Honestly, uh, very great colors for a very good. Yes. Name. And that looks like a paintbrush. A small paintbrush would do it too. Yeah. You can and use a small paint, like the watercolor ones or something from Crayola. Yes, that'll probably be good. And I think the most important thing is don't forget the other eye. Yeah. So. Because you look stupid if you have one eye looking one color and the other eye is like another color if you don't apply That's it. True. You got that right. Yeah. Okay. Now one, two, three, four, five. And don't forget the rule of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So here we're going to not do the rule of five anymore. We're going to skip on to the cone. We're going to do both of our eyes with this cone thing. We're going to kind of blend in our earlier uh, applying of the eyeshadow into the uh, cream that we applied earlier. Yeah, but that was too shimmering So I'm kind of dulling it out now a little bit and then a little bit darker yes. shadows on outside Give a little bit more contrast, you know, just stand out in the crowd. Yeah, and um, so nobody would uh, I mean not notice you I mean, it's just Yeah, yeah. It, it really gives a nice like smoky eye effect to it kind of gives the whole entire thing like a completion You know if it's just shimmer everywhere that's too shimmery and now, so we applied the smoky color to dull it out. Yes, just uh, otherwise it was too distracting. Now yeah. this one goes inside of your eyes and uh, just kind of give you a little bit of whitish color yeah. in that. So. Kind of helps the nose give it like a uh, shape, you know, kind of makes the nose really pop out there. Yes. Um, yes. This is the most, one of the most dangerous things that you could possibly do. Uh, very sharp thing applied to the very fine tuning of your eyelid that is very dangerous and uh, make sure it is uh, black in color so otherwise uh, uh, maybe different color will not look good I mean pink won't look good no pink situation. is not a good color to put on yes eyes. That, yeah. absolutely not I would not I think black that. is the standard yes. I think black I think it's just the standard black how about blonde maybe blonde, blonde maybe, maybe blonde. sometimes yeah. but no we don't know. anyway yeah, no. Let, let's get on with the tutorial here yeah. this and, uh, oh we're gonna need to turn our pen sideways there okay. as we saw that's a very good technique i need to point it out because it gives yes. you a nice eagle eye effect you know kind of like those tribal people correct uh, yeah. like that. Nice eagle eye effect. That's really cool. Yeah, well, but uh, you apply it only if you want an eagle eye effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Don't do it. Okay, now I'm getting, getting fresh. Fresh air. Fresh and dead. Next, use a gel that's going to go on my face. Mm -hmm. And um, let me put it on. I think it fills up like pores of your skin to give it a nice smooth face to work with, you know. Correct, correct. I know. The, that's the, the, the pink thing you see on my face. It's not a rash and I don't have any problems, <laughs> medical problems, it just it just appears that way. It's just a lighting effect, I would think. Yeah. This is you can get some better lighting, but it's okay. Yeah. And that's uh, a that's, diamond looking sponge or something. Yeah, it's like a tissue paper. It's like a tissue paper on the shoe. This is more like a turmeric thing. Yeah. And, uh, so I think it's like some BB cream or something actually. Mm -hmm. Or foundation, I think. I think it's foundation. I don't even actually know what BB cream is. I just always say it. Is. I think it's foundation. This foundation, I think, let's just put it all over. So yeah. Let's put it all over the face. Everywhere. Everywhere. And, and put in the forehead. Don't forget the forehead. The upper part, in the lower part of the face. And now we are going to do hard. Okay, perfect. Find the three dot, three dot rule. This is the three rule. That's heart is always three. Heart is always three. Yes. So now uh, the, let's put that thing under, clean it out under the eye. So both sides and 
just to make sure that's uh, evenly spread out just to yeah. give a little bit of um, a dulling effect here yeah I definitely want to make sure it's nice and evenly spread throughout it don't want any random streaks or anything oh that's not that. bad that's not bad it just looks that way it is uh, it is good it is good yeah and uh, I mean, it looked like a fungus but not no it's good it's actually just like a random powder that wow. you can just apply to your face right there you know kind of lighten your skin yeah, that's again not a big it's a big paintbrush or uh, you can is it a paintbrush or maybe a no. regular brush Make a brush, but you can use a paintbrush. You can use a paintbrush. It's yes. very similar. Same thing. Yeah, almost. Uh, now we're just filling in our eye, eyebrows here. Eyebrows want to make sure those are nice and bold. You don't want to look have those look weak or anything. You know, if they're lacking color, that would not be good. No, that's right. Again, don't forget the other side. Yeah, that's that's the key. That is the key, honestly. Because if you mess up one, like if you forget an entire side, that's not. Okay, you ruined no. it. It's that's gone. it. That's it. It's already you ruined. Got it. Now this is some Anastasia. Yeah. And, and it looks the same. Yeah, looks the same. The same but I think it's applying more color, maybe, and that's a torture device, mm. right there, Dad. That's, that's that is dangerous. How, that's look how dangerous. look how shaky. Look how shaky yes. your hands are. That is no good. This is a very bad device to be using. Look at that. Earthquake was happening right there. Boom! Your eyelid's gone. But I think precaution. Don't put it too deep inside on your eyelid. Yeah, see, that won't be good. Also, use your other hand to hold it properly to make sure it doesn't move. Give it a nice like two hands. Beautiful. Two hands. Now that's a mascara. Okay, that's that is a mascara. That's a smoky mascara too. So it really gives it, you know, the nice smoky eye. We got the smoky mascara. It's all looking smoky there. With a little bit small brush. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's you see the technique there. Yes. You got the little rolling technique, and also you see that side to side technique. I mean, okay. You also there's a lot of different techniques you can use. When, yeah, doing your eyelashes here. Yeah. But again, in the eyelashes, don't forget that uh, there are eyelashes on the lower lid too. Yes. The upper and the lower. Make sure you do your lower lids, lower eyelashes too. Here and we go. See, Dad is always looking out for you, always making sure you dot all your, cross here all your T's, dot all your eyes. And next thing is the bronze again. Let's go. We'll go back to the eye. You need to go back to the eye. The eye shadows. Do a little more and shimmer. It wasn't shimmering enough. Right, so let's let's see how that that looks here because and shimmer then, was gone. Yeah, and it kind of so died out. So you apply a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. So five. One is the five. What is the five? All right. So now we are almost done with that. And next one is uh, high society. This creamer with the uh, black brush. Yeah, it's uh, we're going back to that blush thing again. We're gonna reapply it on top of the nice coating that we did to our face with the blush and everything so we're going to need to go back and redo that yes and again right from top to the bottom and right to left that's right top to bottom get it all your face nice and covered yes, up with that uh, blush again we're going back to the blush but that's uh, that's a coral color i love it i love my coral i love my coral yes yeah. and you will see that you see that with the tissue paper i'm going to just spread it out all over all over i just like coral <laughs> that's what it is. That's that's the key. Okay, no, I don't like that lipstick. Let's change it. Let's change it. Coral again. All right. So, so now we're gonna go in with this other lipstick, and we're gonna, like I said, you need to go around the outside of the lip. So it's kind of like when you're coloring, right? You want to get the edges first, so that you can just easily go in and rush all and do the inside without having a risk of messing it up because on the outside. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't up. smudge or anything. Yeah, yeah that that's you don't want it to smudge too. Yeah, that's that's very clever. That's the key. Yeah, very clever. So and here we're just again. filling it in. Also, you gotta be careful on the side of your lips because it gets very thin. Like the amount that you need to paint it, but you need to paint it because it will look weird. Yes, yes. Well, I think it's too dark. I think it's yeah. too dark. I look like a clown. Ah, I look like a clown. Nah, nah, no. nah, we're gonna scratch nah, it. Take nah. it off. Okay. And that's the beauty of the lipstick. Look how easy it is to take off. Just slow. Rubbing here and there, and it'll come right off. Just don't get too aggressive, yeah. otherwise you get your lip, the, yeah, your lip what it's called is a lip burns. Okay, lip burns, and that's from the tissue. Uh, so just go easy on the lips. Yeah, very sensitive. Coral again, but a little lighter this time. Yeah. This time lighter. Yes, yes, yes. That's my color. That's my color. That's a good color to use right there. Yes. This time we're using the pencil to draw the outside. So what did wait, we use before? Was I think, pen? I think was the last time was a liquid. Was it a lipstick? It, it was liquid? a liquid. And now we're oh wait, this is a liquid too. But I think we're using the pen 
Now we're using the pen to pen, draw it. So pen easier. and a pencil? Yeah, yeah, yeah pen, pen same thing. So now, draw that, yeah. This is this Color part. it in. This is looking yeah. better, much yeah, better. I, I think this looks good with my outfit here. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. I agree, it, yeah. I agree. Here we go. Oh, look at oh you know, my God. the nice so, hair flowing. Where's my wind? I need the wind. In the hair. Yes. <laughs> How do I look? How do I look? I oh, look yeah. good. I look good. Nice. Thank you, Bye, thank guys. you very much. And I hope you learned something. I think we nailed it. You think? What up, guys? This is Ishani's brother, aka Total Makeup Junkie 102. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Their ice cream. This is what I'm talking about. This is the best product on the line. If you guys don't have this product, you should get it. Okay, that's not an ice cream. These are the ice creams. All right, next we'll be moving on to the blush. Uh, this is High Society Squad Goals, maybe Taylor Swift inspired. Who knows? On the inner side of my eyes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my. And then we're going to turn the pen a little bit so we get the full side felt tip. It looks like you have like, like a mask or something on, you know, like superhero, like a superhero effect. Urban Decay uh, Pep Spray. Pepper Spray? I hope not. Here we go. Yes. Looks good. It looks good. I'm happy. No, not happy. Looking good here? No, no, not good. Doesn't, I don't like the lipstick. I look like a clown. I think that's what she was saying. Colored Rain is an indie brand that got really popular from their liquid lipsticks, and I know you guys are gonna, it is like lightly holographic, nothing compared to the box, obviously, but like when it hits the 